Raheem Morris. Boy, did that come out of left field, but came right out of the bullpen. <laughs> Raheem Morris is going to be the new head coach of the Atlanta Falcons per Adam Schefter. Nobody really saw this coming. A few people said this, that, and the third. I knew that there could have been a possibility because of familiarity, but that was not the pick I wanted. Now, what does this mean? I don't know. <laughs> hey, y'all, seriously, I don't know. Um, But because I don't know, does he try to move up in the draft? Do we stand pat? Do we get a defensive guy, you know, in the at, at number eight pick? I don't know. But it looks like the Harbaugh situation, Bobby Slowick, you know, um, you know, the Belichick thing, all that stuff is, you know, is out the window. Um, not many people thought this was going, going to happen. I mean, Raheem Morris obviously was an interim head coach with the Falcons at one point. He didn't do bad. Well, he didn't do good either. So it's, it's more of a situation now like, okay, so um, what, what, what are we doing now? I, I feel like this is a safe, this was a very safe move by Arthur Blake. He just played it safe. He played it with familiarity. He played it with, you know, not trying to ruffle too many feathers. It was a, it was a safe pick. Is it a bad pick? Huh. No, but it's not who I want. I don't think this moves the needle. I'm going to be really, really interested to see what he learned from when he was the interim coach up until you know what he is now because a lot has changed he's done wonders with the Rams defense he's been a, I think he's been a couple other places since then and um, it, it, it's, it's going to you know it's going to be really interesting to see what he has evolved into because I don't think the coach that we had the interim coach that one time which honestly it was kind of like a bad deal anytime you have an interim coach it's almost a crap shoot you don't, you don't, you don't have much success in that situation. But this team is a totally different team now. I think what well, outside of Grady Jarrett and uh, I think uh, Ma uh, Matthews was still here at the time. I could be wrong. It's a totally different team. So what did he learn? What can he make of what we have? I'm willing to give it a fair shot. I'm not against it, but it's not who I wanted. I, I honestly, I wanted Jim Harbaugh. Um, I was a really big fan of Antonio Pierce, and I kind of started warming up the Slovak. But owner Arthur Blank, I probably called him coach earlier, but owner Blank has made a safe choice, a very safe choice. This is something that him and McKay basically was um, comfortable with, and I'm going to get to that in a second. Well, I'm going to get to that in the podcast, so y'all be, you know, waiting for that. Hopefully you guys will check that out um, on next, in the morning. But I think this was just a, it was just a safe pick. And I, I'm not against it. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm trying to make more of this, but I don't know. I mean, offensively, who does he bring in? You know, does he bring somebody off that McVeigh tree with him? Now, that's another thing. Does he bring someone off that McVeigh tree offensively to run this offense? kind of similar to uh, it, it's kind of similar to what we had with the Texans you know um, you had uh, D'Amico Ryan bring in you know Bobby Slowick he bought it an offensive mind off that tree which is a, the, the Shanahan tree McVay's from the Shanahan tree you know so McVay you know do, does he bring somebody with him maybe that's something that intrigued the that maybe that's something that intrigued coach well owner Arthur Blank and Rich McKay. I don't know. I, I'm really interested in this because now the more I think about it, this might have been the best of both worlds for everybody. When you look at what owner Blank wanted, and if he brings an office of mine along with if Raheem Morris bring the offensive of mind along with them from that McVay Shanahan tree, we everybody possibly could win. But at this point, we need to figure out what we're going to do with this uh, quarterback situation. 
because that right there is going to tell you what's going to happen with this team. Let me know what you guys think. I'm starting to, you know, the, 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 the gears are starting to turn here, and it might be a pretty good look. But we'll talk about that later in the, on the podcast. Check that out in the morning. Uh, hit that like button. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, the podcast is all over the place. It's on Spotify. It's on Rumble. It's on Apple. Subscribe to any of those avenues if you like to listen to podcasts and uh, support what I'm doing over here, man. I'm going to be talking Falcons, talking Georgia Southern. But Raheem Morris, Raheem Morris is the coach of the Atlanta Falcons, per Adam Schefter. All right, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all take it easy. I'm out. Peace.